Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. Julius Randle became an all-star in New York, but it was back in New Orleans that he found his stroke. The coaches told him, let it fly, and he said, quote, that's all I needed to hear. This league is about opportunity, confidence, and mindset. Those things came in all at once in New Orleans, and I was able to build on that. Brian? Thanks, Allie. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. At forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Josh Hart is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the center position. And for Los Angeles, the two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. George outside. Shoots over Hart. Here's Zubox. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on R.J. Barrett. Had he played a stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. the line for L.A., he beats a Zubox. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's New York. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. Randall against Morris. Outside Barrett. Five to shoot. The putback. It's rebounded by Zubats. George outside. And that one Three comes off there. the assist by Westbrook. Physically imposing at 6 to 20. Paul George sturdy enough to take that kind of ball. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one all day. Now here's Hart. Pass to Barrett. Plenty of space. And the jumper falls for him. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Westbrook against Brunson. Now Leonard. Morris outside. It's George on the wing. Counted from distance. George has got five points. Think about the rookie year that PG had. He shot under 30% from the three-point line. But all that tireless work in the offseason, now such a vital part of his game. And Jalen Brunson, he's a great option on the floor. First person uh, yes, he is. Can attack two different levels of the floor. Solid and shooting threat from minute. outside. He Jaylen gives you another Brunson. playmaker to Two initiate shots. the offense. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. Free throw is good. Since hiring Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. That 
one's no good. The 2021-22 season felt like a lost one for the Clippers. Kawhi and Paul George both hurt. So true. I mean, but B.A., those two together, healthy, are scary. A finals-level duo. It kind of shows you how you can plan, build an awesome roster, but injuries can derail it all. Here's Brunson. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. It's hard on the wing. Pass to Barrett. And Kawhi Leonard gets the whistle that time. Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul of the first game. personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Brunson. Outside Hart. Randall outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocks down the triple. Balance and body control look a little bit better this season, so... Randall stays on the ground in this catch-and-shoot situation and looks fluid. Now here's Leonard. George finds Westbrook. Back to George. Leonard for three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Brunson against Westbrook. It's Barrett on the wing. Leonard pulls down the board. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Zubak passes to George. Leonard outside. Let's it fly. That one's wide left. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Pass to Randall. Shot that time, not on target. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. Now here's George. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. George has got seven points. That's a prime example right there of Westbrook being a dual threat. He can make plays for himself and for an open teammate. Pass to Barrett. The three. This is another. Just one of four for the floor. Banked it in off the glass. Two pointer. Nine points in the game. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Brunson. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Leonard on the wing. Guarded by Barrett. Here's Morris. Perfect pass to South Lane. Building a big advantage early with a terrific ball around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. So for the Clippers, Plumley's checked in for Zubats, and Norman Powell subbed in for Morris. New York has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Rose, the pass to quickly. Back to Rose. Tipped away. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Plumley. Carries it down low. Working on that upper body strength. Plumley has a great build and is converting through contact. Quickly outside. Pass to Grimes. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, George with a steal. To the middle. Here's Plumley. It's good. He sent him beautifully by George. George has got three assists now in this one. The Knicks have gone only two of six from the field. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Third team foul. That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job in help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. 
And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, no doubt about it. He's been a force of nature, and that drive, just another of his great plays this game. Here's Rose. He can't hit that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. This might make you feel old, but Derrick Rose won his MVP over a decade ago. The 2011 season. Whew, that was something special. Leonard finds George. Off target with the three. Well, the Knicks shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Quickly, outside, over Leonard. Denied by Leonard! That's why they call him the clock. Kawhi getting in there with those massive mitts. Westbrook, the pass to Leonard. Powell outside. Plumley with it. Over Toppin. And again, no good by the Clippers. 44 seconds left to play in the first. Blocked! And it's the Clippers on the break. And George gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. New York has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Quickly, outside. Here's Grimes. Now covers. From deep, Rose. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Goes up from the top of the key. George has shot his point. George has got 13. For these nights where he just decides to start dominating offensively. And Paul George making it look like that tonight. Now Leonard. Oh, he got it up in time. And but it's good the fall for him. With the and score. so it's Los Angeles, a sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. Back after this. Here we go, fans. Let's get loud. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Boy, quite a position here for the Clippers to be in. What do you guys think? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Paul George. And it's Zubats in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly enjoyed his share of the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Ali. Thank you. And the Clippers with the ball. Robinson with a steal. And now the Knicks on the break. Shot is good by R. Barrett. R. Barrett. And this is the kind of play you want out of R.J. Barrett. Just hustle plays. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Randall not giving up on that play. Smells that one out. Grabs the ball. And gets two more. A two. And the Clippers miss again. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. Now here's Robinson. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. 
Hart with it. Started by the two. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Randall with massive improvement over last year. He can beat you in so many ways that he has confidence in now. What a fun. Here's Westbrook. Pass to Batum. And here's Leonard from outside the arc. They get the rebound. Here's Zubats. Good work defensively by Robinson. For New York, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Hart. George with the block. Well, in terms of wing defenders, PG might be in the top five in the league. He was all alone. Oh, that's timeout, timeout. Randall's got nine. One of the more skilled offensive players, and it's on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. The standout skill of Paul George is the fact that on both ends of the court, he's going to affect the outcome of the game. For the Clippers, Gordon, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Man comes in for George, and it's Highland in for Westbrook. Here's Highland. Pass to Batum. Over Randall. Batum's shot is off. And George is the kind of versatile player that every team is looking for, Brent. NBA, with all of that experience, is able to switch on so many different guys. And he understands what it is they're trying to do. And then on the offensive end, he just scores in a myriad of ways. He's hitting threes, he's driving, he's dunking, he's making plays. PG, the complete package. To stop the drought! And that's good. His first bucket of the game. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot-blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. Well, they've really attacked off of the turnover, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast break stuff. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Gordon outside on the wing man. The three ball. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Terrence Mann, first personal foul, first team foul. Now here's Brunson. He's closely guarded. Pass to Hart. Zubats against Robinson. Outside Brunson. Four on the clock. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Gordon outside. Pass to Zubats. Nice move. Yep, that one goes. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. The Knicks have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. He's got a piece of it. Great anticipation. He's racked up a few of those blocks in his career with two mats. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. An opportunity for a three-point play here. Defense you have to love the focus. He gets hit, but converts it anyway. And you oftentimes hear about players at peace with their game. Well, the line that for your is Eric Gordon. A knockdown shooter with physicality. For one. Plenty of room for that in today's NBA. Plumlee's checked in for Los Angeles. Morris comes in for Batum. Gordon, no good on the free throw. And Gordon, the seventh pick back in 2008, Graham. Never quite an all-star, but he's been an impact player at times in his career. Well, you know, B.A., I mean, he's been a key contributor to some quality teams. And when a shot gets going, you can be in trouble. There's the block! Big athletic guys like Crumley. Hard to get your shot over them before they can get their hands up. He's checked in for Gordon. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Toppin's checked in. Here's Rose. Well, quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the, the game. Oh, 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 oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up. Box out. Or he'll destroy you. Let me hear you. Timeout. Timeout. 
Clippers. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can even Martin develop a senior player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. And so it's New York with it. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Rose outside. Pass to Toppin. Here's quickly. With a nine-footer. The rebound by Mann. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. Powell outside. Takes it inside. And Powell Norman with the stuff. Norman Powell is big and strong and stocky, so he gets in that gap. He's like a bowling ball. He can take a hit. Pass to Toppin. Now quickly. Here's Robinson. He's checked by Plumley. Here's Toppin. And the layup is good. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Now here's Powell. Plumley passes to Powell. Back to Plumley. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. And it felt like Powell had the shot, but good job of feeding the open man. Quickly, outside. Back to Rose. The Clippers grab the miss. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Highland. For three, Powell. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Grimes. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Second shot opportunity. A nice shot Obi by Toppin. Toppin. This is really where Toppin can do a great job on a nightly basis of providing that energy. Get on the glass. Here's Highland. Pass to Plumley. Robinson's down there being a factor. So it's both teams making substitutions here. We've got 13 seconds left in the second period. Five on the clock. George for three. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. Knicks basketball. Substitutions here. Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook. Five ticks left to play in the second quarter. Toppin. That one doesn't drop. The defense is the tough as it comes right there. With a He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. Liking their chances, ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, play the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 13 points, three assists, and one steal. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast-break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on New York. They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. Giving up way too many easy runs. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. 
It's going to be a long ride home. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Coming on to the court. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Paul George has been sensational. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. They're just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So on the floor for New York, at the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Josh Hart is out there with Jalen Brunson, and it's Barrett in at the three slot. Now here's Westbrook. Zubats finds Westbrook. Leonard for three. Hart pulls it in. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back defensive player of the year awards. Yes, it's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. Here's Leonard. After the basket by New York. Pass to Morris. Count the basket. Marcus Morris has got six. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Now here's Randall. Nine points in the game. Mark can't hit. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Greg. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, are the only two team. players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Outside Hart. Robinson passes to Barrett. Randall with it. Over Morris. It's tipped. And it's Randall with the jam. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Westbrook, the pass to George. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. 16 points for him. This is what you expect. Paul George can get it going from the perimeter like that. Pass to Hart. Now Randall, guarded by Morris. Randall, pass to Hart. And connects on the nine-footer. And the coaching staff enjoying that as Randall is becoming a bit more of a facilitator. Here's Westbrook. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays. And that can be a double-edged sword, B.A. Westbrook. love his aggression and confidence. You wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. That free throw misses. Well, still a few years out, but the Clippers have to be excited about moving into their own arena in 2024. So much innovation has gone into the design of the building, and it just looks incredible. And he sinks the second. Amen. And the Clippers felt they needed to build their own arena to establish some identity. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. They, they could be their own franchise away from the shared building with the Lakers. For so long in L.A. they've been treated as sort of the second-rate team, and that just shouldn't happen. So having their own arena, it's moving them well into the right direction. And so here are the Clippers. After the basket by New York, and the basket by Leonard. The efficiency of Kawhi Leonard's three-point shooting is pretty exceptional. I mean, he's going to start taking those all night long if he's open. Now here's Barrett. He has six. Brunson finds Hart. And that one drops John four. Hart. Hart's got four this quarter. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he has that fight in him. 
love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Brunson against Westbrook. Morris. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Morris has got 10. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Such confidence as a passer. Gets guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Leonard outside. Pass to Zubac. Shoots over Robinson. And again. Inside a timeout. Think about the growth of Kawhi Leonard's game. The first few seasons had very few assists as a playmaker. And now it's a, it's a key part of his game. Now a timeout called by New York. Ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012. The rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. The whole team is trying to prove that New York belongs to them. So for the Clippers, Covington's checked in for Morris. Gordon comes in for Leonard. And it's Mann in for Westbrook. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. Grimes comes in for Hart. They get it again. Here's Brunson. And it's blocked. Here's George. 16 points for him. Here's Covington. And the shot falls short that time. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. That's so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top free agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. Here's Covington. After the basket by New York. Here's Mann. No good on the three. The Knicks have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. For three. Kept alive. Hartenstein, no good. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Shot is good by Gordon. Even though Eric Gordon went in amongst the bigger guys on the floor, he's able to remain calm and get two. Here's Brunson. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubox has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Two minutes remaining in the third Pass quarter. To Gordon. Two minutes. The three is up. It's not going to go for him. New York goes the other way with it. Here's Barrett. Second chance shot. And he takes it up and okay. lays it in. Barrett's got six in the quarter. And Barrett does have the size to go in there and mix it up. Gordon outside. Pass to Zubats. The Knicks with the rebound. Randall with it. Guarded by Covington. And there's a whistle. That goes on Robert Covington. That's his first foul of the game. For the Clippers, Plumley comes in for Covington. And Norman Powell subbed in for Paul George. Quickly is checked in for New York. One twenty-five left to play in the third quarter of basketball. 10 feet away. Here's Hartenstein. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubox has got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Powell. And Powell with the stop. And how about Powell to the people as Norman gets up for a loud two points. It's Barrett on the wing. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. Just five to shoot. And they immediately oh, answer back with a dunk on the other end. And you love that. Just that quick first step. And RJ up and over the D. Gordon finds Zubats. Over Randall. And Zubats with the basket. On the assist by Gordon. Zubats has got eight. The simple bounce pass works at any level, including the highest level. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's Grimes, defended by Gordon. Grimes' shot is off. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Gordon can't hit. Here's Grimes. Pass to Hartenstein. From deep three-point range. Oh, and the release. 
was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Los Angeles. Feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Los Angeles, they're shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Norman Powell out there with Russell Westbrook. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Ivica Zubac. And it's Plumley in it to five down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And we're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game. You simply cannot allow second chances. Now, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, the not the other way purpose. around. They're just going to extend this lead. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. We also have to admire the way they've gotten out and run in transition. And they've run wide, they've run their lanes, they've been doing it with a great pace. And that's produced some easy scores. Now here's Hart. Back to quickly. The shot comes out. Ooh, nice D from George. Here's Westbrook. It's good. And the assist that time from Little. Leonard's got his fifth assist in this one. Don't say this much about guards, but big boy strength there as Westbrook does not give in to the aggressive defense. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drop. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Humbly finds Leonard. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Already such a complete offensive player, yet every year Kawhi Leonard develops his handle just a little bit more. Brunson passes to Hart. And here's Toppin from deep. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Plumley. There's the triple. Hart pulls it in. The Knicks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Now quickly. Toppin outside. Quickly passes to Hart. Hits a three-pointer. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost them three. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Up top, Westbrook. Brunson defending. 11 feet out. And too long on the shot. New York has gone 1 of 2 from deep in this quarter. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Leonard. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. That's an athletic play coming from Kawhi, just pushing his way past the defender and getting to his shot. Now a timeout called by New York. The last couple of seasons, the Clippers have shot the lights out from the Oh, man, they've been unbelievable. Over 41% back in that 21 season. That led the NBA. So they got a nice collection of shooters on this Clippers team, and it helps that you have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play to create great shooting opportunities. So lots of guys that can hurt you from deep. Mitchell Morris, Robinson. he's checked in for Los Angeles. Well, he's Charles. a physical big down low, and I think he expects this kind of traffic around him as Mitchell Robinson comes to him. Westbrook, the pass to George. Shoots over Hart. The Clippers rebound. George outside. Pass to Leonard. Over quickly. Shot by Leonard. No good. The Knicks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Brunson against Westbrook. Brunson on the drive. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Wow. 
I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now here's Brunson. Outside Hart. Passed it quickly. And it's rejected. And he gets it back. Just five on the clock. Here's Brunson. And here's Westbrook. Now Plumley. Leonard on the wing. Drops in the three. Leonard's got seven points for the quarter. Why confident in that shot there. Just gets the ball. And really didn't waste any time. Hart passes to Randall. Shot from 12. Off the left rim and out. The Clippers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Morris. Randall with a steal. And there's the rejection. And they get it back. Brunson passes to quickly. Up top, Robinson. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks. New York will retain possession. New York. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. R.J. Barrett, he's checked in for New York. Now a timeout called by New York. Hard New back York in that team one season. Finally, the Knicks break yeah, back into the playoffs. You know, it's been seven years since they got there. And Coach Thibodeau receiving the coach of the year on deserves. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. they just got to continue to play together. We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Clock at six. Brunson against Westbrook. With the clock winding down. Mitchell and Robinson. a big finish by Robinson. And that's Robinson dominating on the inside to capture the board and go right back up. Westbrook, the pass to George. Two minutes and Mitchell Robinson game. picks up the foul. That's his first foul. It was Mitchell such an Robinson. impressive season, and yet first, New York foul. couldn't quite replicate Second their success the following year, Brent. Yeah, B.A., they made some moves, and they were hoping to bolster the roster in some ways, but it just didn't go as expected, and now they're retooling again. Now here's George. New York foul. Julius Randle. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Clippers, Paul George. Two shots. one falls for him and for Paul George playing close to home on a title contending team it's a tremendous opportunity Graham and back with the Pacers he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals but without a doubt this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of now, Paul George really a true two-way player in the NBA he gives you so much on both ends so you get all-star value offensively and defensively now here's Hart outside Barrett Randall, the pass to Brunson. Shot clock at five. That three's off the mark. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Morris finds Plumley, kicks it to George from the arc. Good. And that basket makes him eight for 14 for the game. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Clippers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. 
I mean, what's so impressive is Mitchell they never Robinson. wavered in their Assisted approach. They just kept Jay at it and, and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Kawhi Leonard. I just loved his defense. He took pride in swatting away a bunch of shots tonight and made his impact felt. And the Clippers with the ball. The Knicks making their last shot. Morris. And that one's good. Oh, Got to give him respect. They're what doing do? everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now here's Hart. Pass to Robinson. Morris against Randall. He can't get it to go. And the Clippers will come the other way. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Westbrook with it. Leonard for three. And it's Brunson with the rebound. Fast break. New York. Oh, sent away with a 40. Out and it goes out of bounds. Last Ball touch by to Leonard. Substitution on the court. From deep, Rose. He drops it from range. A shooter of Rose's skill is just automatic. I mean, he's ready to strike at a moment's notice. Here's Highland. This one for three. It's off. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. Thank you, this team for really showed tonight. what it's we capable of. We hope you enjoyed the game. We'll All right, now let's check time. in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? PG, you just looked confident out there. How were you able to be so effective offensively? I just kept moving. You know, within our offense, you know, the key is to move. Um, you know, my teammates do a great job of setting screens and getting me open. You know, I just got to you know, stay within offense. You have to make that defense work. Wear them out. Thanks, PG. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later.